Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to the mental house. I am your host, Khadija. You played yourself, Dorsey Montgomery. You played yourself. You know, this is why Harriet Tubman used to say, dead man don't tell tales. Dead men can't tell tales. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family, whatever side of the diaspora that you are on. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. I am your host, Khadija. Let me see if I can do something about this lighting here. Yeah, I'm just going to have to get some new equipment. That's all it is to it. Um, especially if I'm going to be serious about this. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to share an article with you guys. And uh, tell me what you think. Dorsey Montgomery was also the only juror who said he had not known about the case or watched an eyewitness video that showed Slager shooting Walter Scott in the back as he ran. So he must be the only person in the United States that never saw that, right? Okay. The only black juror, and now I know that you was handpicked. Um, at first, this guy said... Uh, he went along with the other jurors, and it was just one juror problem. Jury, juror problem. This is his story now. The lone black juror who served as foreman during the Michael Slater trial. Um, but before I tell you that, let me tell you that. This right here, I'm sorry. That he had a pending felony charge against him that was mysteriously dropped by the prosecution during a Slager trial. See, these are the games that they play. White supremacy plays. Psych uh, psychopaths play with the, uh, the rest of us. Remember I said, remember that I asked you, and I, I pretty much implored you to protect your psychological makeup at all costs. Okay, because this they just trying to play on our emotion. And then when you get a sellout like this, a guy that would actually just flip the script. So now I'm not so damn sure if he wasn't the one that just held out. Who knows? You can't believe nothing that comes out of his mouth now. And for this other reason as well. Dorsey Montgomery, 34, was indicted last year on a charge of breach of trust and fraudulent intent. So he's a very untrustworthy, shady character which carries a sentence of up to five years in prison. But Assistant Solicitor Ted Corby dropped the charge on November 17th per statute, and no further reasoning was given for the charge being dropped. Now, I want y'all to see this. Okay, because so we're not supposed to, we, we remember now, we're supposed to be stupid, and we can't read in between the lines. I don't worry about the trolls. Uh, because they're probably, you know, they, just listen. This is white supremacy's last gasp. This is his last gasp. And any um, sane and rational spiritual person can sense, you can sense it on the horizon. You can sense it. Um, and I tell you, and I make mention over and over again how we're circling the drain. Now, I'm sure in Montgomery's uh, thinking, he's like, well, Walter Scott's dead. I can't bring him back. I can't bring him back. I have an opportunity to drop some criminal charges against me. So now I'm going to pretend that I'm not going to believe my lying ass eyes. I'm going to believe the officer that stood 17 feet away from another human being and shot him 
while he was running away from the officer. And the officer tried to plant a taser. And now he's trying to convince us that there's some information that he's privy to that nobody else is. I beg to differ. I think he's a liar. I think he's a very untrustworthy guy. And that's why he had those charges. That's why he was already caught <laughs> with deceptive and fraudulent practices. And now this fucker, um, excuse my French, now this guy He does that to the Walter Scott family. He does that to the African American family. Now you see why Harriet Tubman did what she did. See, there were certain people that she had to put the gun to their head. And she said, no, 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 you're going to be free tonight or I'm going to kill you dead where you stand. Because dead men don't tell tales. And we're going to be free. And we're not going to leave you here since you saw us. You either going to go with us or I'm going to kill you. Because you're the kind of person that will allow the master to put us all in bondage. Keep us here. You have no intention of wanting to be free, nor do you have any intentions of getting out of this wretched condition that we're in. There are people like that right now. In fact, Dorsey Montgomery is one of them. So if he was back in Harriet Tubman days, I know what would have happened to him. You know, it goes without saying. Anyway, as previously reported, the route, uh, Michael Slager, 35, was charged with and stood trial for the murder of 50-year-old Walter Scott, whom Slager shot in the back as Scott was fleeing on foot from a traffic stop in North Charleston, South Carolina. The jury of 11 whites and one black was unable to agree on a verdict in the trial, with reports saying that one juror was the holdout. A mistrial was eventually declared, with the prosecution promising to try Slager again for Scott's murder. According to the Post and Courier, it is unknown whether the breach of trust charge was discussed during jury selection, but none of the lawyers involved in the case objected to Montgomery's serving. <laughs> now, you guys know I just showed y'all my jury summons. Just showed you. Now, who gets qualified to serve on a jury with a felony? With a felony hanging over their head? Nobody. But if you're going to use somebody for all intents and purposes that you choose, According to the uh, Post Curry, it is unknown whether the breach of trust was discussed during the jury selection. Yeah, right. Slager's defense attorney, Andy Savage, told the Post Curry that he knew about Montgomery's past, but he did not opt to exclude him from the jury panel. He acknowledged that in the case of a conviction, the limited question of prospectors, prospective, prospective jurors' history would have been grounds for an appeal. The charges against Montgomery were dropped three weeks into the trial on the same day he was appointed jury foreman. <laughs> Ninth Circuit Solicitor Scarlett Wilson told the Post and Curry that the charges were dropped without her knowledge. I was not aware of that his charges were resolved in the midst of trial, Wilson said, or what the circumstances were surrounding their resolution. In a brief telephone conversation with the Post and Courier, Montgomery said, I'm a big boy. Whatever transpired, transpired. Whatever happened, happened. Whatever was done, was done. Listen to that stupid shit, that rhetoric. Both Montgomery and his defense attorney, Alan Mastenturno, declined to give further comment. Montgomery was making the talk show rounds on Thursday, appearing on both Today and The View. He said he chose to speak out to set the record straight about the jury's discussion. 
There has been speculation that Montgomery might may have been the holdout juror in the initial deadlock, but in his appearance on the Today Show, he made it clear that that was not the case. The jury foreman said that after seeing the bystanders' video, he first thought that Scott was murdered. Montgomery had hoped that further deliberations could have swayed the holdout juror. But by Monday, the juror still had not budged. He had his own, he just had his own convictions, Montgomery told today. I'll leave it right there. It appears that the holdout juror's convictions were stronger than Montgomery because after looking at the evidence, taking into account the legal requirements for murder and factoring in the judge's instruction, he and the rest of the jury decided to deliberate on the lesser charge of involuntary manslaughter as opposed to murder. Still, there was no conviction. Montgomery told the host on the view that race was not a factor in the courtroom, although it may have been a factor for the nation. You know what? Okay. I am personally am going to protect my psyche because I know it's all lies. I know it's all lies. Okay. I know they doctored up this guy. They dropped the charges so he can pull the crap he just pulled. When you've been around the block as long as I have, y'all, you've seen all the tactics that they've used. They've used these before. Okay. And like I told you in my last video, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Okay. These psychopaths are not going to let up. And now they have been given okay. They've been given the okay by the president-elect to act a fool. And so a lot of you Africans in America are going to get your what I call nigger wake-up call. You're going to get it. Because you um you keep you you want to keep continuing to play a game that you know is not honest you want to play you you're self serving just that simple so with that being said i don't have a lot of faith in the um new trial and nothing is going to bring walter scott back so at this point we just got to start taking notes. Because these people got to come back to the community. Unless they pay them good enough to, that they move away. Okay? So, I just wanted to make note that Dorsey Montgomery is a coon. Dorsey Montgomery is a fraudulent, thieving individual who had an opportunity to serve on the jury. But I just got off the jury, and before I got on it, you know what they told me? They asked me in my questionnaire, did I have any felony? Because if I did, I wouldn't be able to serve. Three weeks into the trial, though, he gets his felony charges dropped. Okay. All right, you guys, we'll talk later. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Y'all know where you at. You in the mental house. <laughs> You seriously are in the mental health. Bye-bye.